Welcome. This is probably going to be, yeah, our first, what would you call it, podcast? Mini chat? Chat. I like chat. <laughs> a space where we can kind of be a bit more transparent with uh, with our uh, our followers, our fans. So um, I'm uh, Dan Beardsmore, European, uh, well, I say European marketing manager, I'm probably a marketing manager of of everything really and um, yeah today we just want to kind of discuss a little bit about the brand um, where we're at currently and where we're heading Stacey do you want to start uh, we've seen a lot of growth um, a lot of it is behind the scenes so I know y'all are probably wondering you haven't seen me on you know social media lately I kind of been behind the scenes but We've, we've definitely been doing a lot back here and uh, we've got our new products that I don't know if you've noticed on social media and our website. We've got a, a whole array of new products that have come out. We've really, Dan and I have really spent a lot of time in trying to tweak what we offer to you, what what we think is is a better fit, you know, kind of the direction we have gone as a brand is to be more inclusive. And uh, Dan feels very strongly about this as well. Um, you know, so many brands out there right now in the camo industry want to cater to the active fit, the more athletic cut person and not uh, the everyday person. You know, I'm not, I'm not the athletic cut, so I, it doesn't do good for me. And, and we really wanted it to to change in a direction where our clothes are unisex because it's it's not conducive for us as a brand to launch an entire line of women's clothing we'd much rather just have it where it can be all inclusive it doesn't matter what you are you can wear our clothes so so we've really embraced that idea i wear our own i wear our clothes you know that's what i hunt in um so we think it's going to be a better fit for everybody if you're if you're you know have a little too much junk in the trunk or you you feel a little overstuffed uh we want our clothes to be more roomy that way you don't have to worry you know you can layer up under our clothing and and really you know stick with the core elements of what we're offering you know what do you actually need not all the extra stuff we want to focus on the core pieces that are critical to no matter what time of the year you're hunting, this is what I need. Um, because, hey, you know, everybody knows it's times are really weird right now. And so you, you want to buy what's essential and not have to worry about all the rest of that stuff. So that's where we're at with that. Um, Dan can tell you a little bit more about, you know, the, the key pieces and what I'll chime in on, on specific pieces that we're offering. But everything is now available and on our website. Yeah, I think. Just to kind of go back to what you were saying, I think what it took was that we had a kind of a, a deep dive on on where we're at currently in the industry at the moment. And, um, you know, we saw a, a kind of a, a, yeah, how would you describe it? A pattern um, in which there's been a seismic shift over the past 10, 15 years in which brands now are, it's get, got to a point now where they're kind of conforming you to their ideal. This idea of being, that super elite athlete and that's great but that doesn't represent really the the everyday hunter the everyday fisherman the everyday outdoorsman and we felt there was kind of a space there that was you know that needed to be filled uh, and, and really we want to focus in on inclusivity you know the idea that we want um, we kind of use the term, we're here to help you explore out there. But what does that mean? It means that, you know, we're inclusive of any size, any shape, any gender or any background. But how do we really kind of show that as a brand? Well, we really need to unpack that. And that's kind of going to be ultimately our mission over the next few years. And you'll start to see us, um, you know, offering lots more um, plus sizes, um, offering lots more garments that really tailor to comfort to not being slim cut fits but actually product that is multi-purpose multi-use and ultimately as where we can uh, as much as we can it be affordable for the everyday hunter absolutely so, yeah um do we want to kind of kind of talk about the the new product 
Yeah, let's go and let's go through the list of new products. Quite a few pieces, and it's ultimately it's been quite tough, hasn't it? Because it's we've been yeah ultimately frustratingly held up with the manufacturing, and we've only just been able to get, kind of release product online, and we're starting to see that come through. But um, we've got the the new book flex pants. We've got the new core beanie. Um, we've got the new performance Parker jacket, the new bamboo crew, uh, the new bamboo quarter zip, the new flex hoodie, and the new feather light cap. What would you say is probably your favorite, Stacey, out of that lineup? <laughs> you know, the new performance Parker yeah. is incredible. It's probably the best piece that we've ever made and I know Dan you haven't gotten to see it yet but they just came in this week you know it's it's one of those things in me I've hunted my whole life mm -hmm. and I, I know everybody out there is going to relate that you know you sometimes you feel like you're you know you're shot and you are you're like the little kid on Christmas story that you can't walk you feel like you're waddling because you're so thick and puffy this jacket is extremely warm. I mean, it's going to be for cold weather, but it's extremely flexible. It's extremely, you know, comfortable to wear. I don't feel like, oh, I can't move my arms. I'm going to just go sit in the tree stand because I sure can't walk in it. This jacket is not that way. This is extremely comfortable. I would feel comfortable wearing this jacket stalking for elk in the middle of Colorado with no problem. It's got armpit zips where they're two-way zips, they're water, uh, the watertight zippers. That way, if you're getting hot, I mean, y'all all know, when you're walking in, you can get to where you're burning up and you're shucking layers. That's usually what I do. This way, you can unzip the zippers under your arms, let some air in. You can, you know, unzip the front. The front's a big, heavy-duty, waterproof zipper. Um, you know, of course, your essential pockets. We didn't put anything extra that you don't need because the last thing you want to do is have a bunch of stuff you don't need when you're trying to walk into a stand yeah. or walk stalking or whatever. The, the the hood, what's beautiful about the hood is it'll completely zip off if you don't want it on there. But it'll also, it's meant to go over your ball cap. It's got a cinch so that you can tighten it. The, the, the closure in the front tucks into itself. It's nestled in there so that everything is nice and streamlined. And it's just a fantastic, uh, affordable quality jacket. It really is. I'm very proud of it. Um, yeah, we, That's we, my favorite. We definitely kind of focus on that warmth to function ratio where we didn't want to give too many features because we've had a lot of um, feedback from guys where they just wanted a jacket that was, that did everything, you know, it kind of, would keep them warm in the stand, but also keep um, them um, yet yeah, one warm, but breathe too whilst they're they're stalking. Right, and it does have a, a water a water resistant you know finish on it. You can definitely layer under it without you know some jackets are so thick that there is no way I'm wearing a t-shirt under it because put anything else under it would be a joke. Yeah. This one you could actually layer under it and still move. So I'm real excited about that. Then we have our quarter zip, which we had done a fleece before, and we wanted something that was lighter weight, something that nice and lightweight, yeah. that same finish on the, the jacket is the same kind of finish on the, the quarter zip. So let's say you're out bow hunting, you know, muzzleloader hunting, and it's in the 70s. You know, you could look full full coverage or, you know, a little bit cooler and you'd be comfortable. You wouldn't be too hot. It wouldn't be too heavy. It's extremely lightweight. And that's the key because you could definitely take that quarter zip and put it underneath your jacket and, and you it would layer. So, you know, all about we wanted to integrate the pieces. We wanted them to work together. We wanted them not to be so outrageous in one direction that, oh, I can't wear this except for a minute no. period of time. On the bamboo uh, crew neck long sleeve, it's more of an active cut. We did that on purpose because we wanted it to be for like when you're when you're bow hunting and you need to worry about yeah. stuff, you know, getting in the way of when you're drawing. <clears throat> this this is a little bit more fitted, um, but still comfortable, and you can have full range of movement. Rougher right now when it's hot, you can wear it and be happy, you know, happily comfortable in the stand and it's soft. It feels good on. 
um, well, kind of just your basic tea. Yeah, I think what's great about bamboo is that you know, with its uh, calling, you know, natural calling. With its natural cooling properties, yeah, and wicking properties, I think this will be really a garment that people won't want to take off. <laughs> that's correct, and and I forgot to say our quarter zip is bamboo as well, so that's that's going to be super nice. Um, on the 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 hoodie, yeah. it's our lightweight performance shirt style hoodie, but it's in a a, a smaller waffle weave fabric this time. A, a lot smoother um feels really good on and it's of course got the spf protection for when you're you know how and it's in it's good stretch that way when you're hunting and you need you know lightweight it's going to be great the inside of the hood is camouflaged that way you can wear it you don't have to worry about anything shining or flashing mm -hmm. um so good there and, you, and then of course you can just wear it into the summer fishing and antimicrobial all that kind of fun stuff it's a great layering piece. One thing I learned when I was hunting in some really cold weather in uh, and stalking uh, mule deer hunting in Colorado was I had that lightweight performance hooded shirt on underneath my other stuff. I had that on. I had the quarter zip on. Then I had the parka on. And you could, I don't know how, uh, how y'all feel about it, but I can't stand when a and our new jackets, thank God, don't have that problem. I couldn't stand it when I tried to turn my head to scan the woods and my hat with my hood would make all kinds of racket. It wouldn't follow my head with me. The, we don't have that problem anymore. And the good thing is, if you don't want your big hood on, you can always put that very lightweight hood on and you're going to get that protection and, and concealment. So works really good. Yeah. On the pants, on the pants, what we've done... We were, we were a big fan of our stock one direction that we were going, but we wanted to tweak a few things. Yeah. So what we did was we made a higher gusset in the back, yeah. uh, or not a gusset, but back. That yeah. way it doesn't ride down. You won't have to worry about any carpenter's cracks or anything like that. Um, the, the belt loops are much bigger and wider, so it'll accommodate pretty much any size belt. I mean, I could put three fingers in. Um, the pockets are all zippered instead of flapped and we've still got the padding in the knees. That way, if anybody's ever hunted in Argentina, red stag hunting, man, everything around there will stick you and bite you. You better have some padding if you're going to kneel down to take a shot. So we wanted to have that padding. That way, if you do have to kneel down and take a shot, you're not going to kill yourself kneeling down. It's going to give you a little bit of protection. Um, the drawstrings at the bottom for us short people that normal legs length is not a, uh, not a thing, then you can cinch those up around your boots and you don't have to worry about them dragging the ground or having to cuff them. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we're real pleased with the, what we've got. Another favorite, well, favorite of mine is the, uh, the core beanie. Yeah, you designed that one and it, it is fantastic. It's basically the rain style finish of the jacket and the pants on the outside of the hat and then you've got the fleece uh olive green fleece on the inside so it's a, it's going to be really warm i mean you're not going to wear it when it's hot you're going to wear this when you need to have some warmth on your head um but super super comfortable on and it doesn't make any with that fleece on the inside it's not going to make a bunch of racket you know when you i hate putting on a hat and it's making squishy sounds so you don't have to worry about that it'll be it'll be comfortable yeah then we have our last one which i love is our feather light performance ball cap it's kind of marrying the two best of both worlds it's a solid camo cap and the softness of a solid fabric hat with the beauty of having mesh but not mesh it's laser cut little perforations in the fabric that allow airflow yeah. super super lightweight hat cut basically like you know the style of hats that everybody likes right now yeah. but but you can take this hat and i mean it weighs nothing it's not going to be heavy on your head you don't have to worry about having in the in when it's hot it's going to be covered in camo but yet you're going to have the breathability so best of best of both worlds i think we're basically building on from basically what the the running industry use as you know running caps exactly exactly so it's going to give you ultra ultra light ultra breathable and very quick drying so 
Exactly. Exactly. We want everything to to dry as quickly as possible because I mean you're gonna get caught, you're gonna sweat when it's cold, hot, and you're gonna get caught in a sprinkle occasionally. So you might as well have something that at least will shed it off or dry quickly. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm really yeah excited to yeah to hear people's feedback on on the new products and um, and and how they'll be obviously this season. You know, obviously. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Getting close and please send us pictures. Please tag us in pictures because we love we love seeing all of your pictures that you send in. Yeah, absolutely. And what 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 have we got coming up? What's 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 the future hold for Prime on Camo, Stace? You know, you know, we've got a lot of growth, and everybody's going to say, "Well, we never see you in the stores." You're not going to. It's the, that day is gone. That day has long since sailed. We're not. You're not going to see us very prevalent in stores. Um, online, you'll find us, you'll see us through our licensees. We've picked up a bunch of new licensees. Um, Cast King and extremists are constantly pumping out stuff on, uh, Amazon. And, and the good thing about what they're doing is they're actually engaging me to prompt them into what they need to design. So it's kind of like having a partner in crime. Um, so but pay close attention to what they've got going on. And we always try to do a really good job of advertising what our partners have available to you. Cast King's got some fantastic stuff coming. They, they, they're always working on the fishing side, but they also have a new lifestyle outdoor brand called Extremist that the puffer jackets, guys, those puffer jackets are incredible. And they're, nice. they're, uh, incredible. And they're, they're vests. And I saw online last night, they've got their, their puffer jackets on sale on Amazon for $37 right now. I don't even know how they had it made that cheap. I mean, when I say this is a quality garment, I'm not joking. That's my favorite puffy jacket. So just FYI, don't miss out, especially pre-Christmas, you know, stuff. Um, we've got a Justin Boot Company that just released a new women's work style boot, uh, casual boot with abalone, our pinkish uh, peach color pattern on the on the shaft of the boot. Looks really killer. Um, we've got uh, several new companies that have come on board that are going to be working on stuff. Us as a company, besides doing all the clothing, have, I've been kind of playing around, you know, in the, in the backside, tinkering with stuff and I've come out with the other member of the family, the prime one family, the OS pattern. Now I will never replace prime one, the original pattern because there's nothing wrong with it. I don't need to fix it. It's perfect the way it is, but I do like to have options. Hey, we like to wear a different shirt each day. You know, it's not, we're not, we're not cloning each other. We want to have options. So, we have Boulder already. Um, Casking is going to be releasing a whole new line of product in Boulder. Last year, they did all Prime 1. This year, they're adding in Boulder. OS is kind of an homage to the old school blob style World War II camo. Yeah. But it's got our twist on it, and it's got the Prime 1 camo spot pattern, which is our signature element in our pattern that everybody recognizes. It's in this new pattern. And it's going to be a very cool, very hip looking, can go on anything pattern because I'm one of those ones when I design something, I want it to look good no matter what you put it on. It can go on a hunt. And, it, and you talk about effective. We know it's effective because I had an entire suit made and Court, my son, went out bow hunting in Colorado and shot his first elk at 35 yards with it. So I know it's effective. It looked fantastic. In fact, everybody who went hunting with him was begging me, uh, make some camo out of this too. Yeah. So oh, it's Dan right. and I have been, do what? The, the OS pattern being old school is more of a focus on kind of pastel colors, isn't it? Yeah, we've got, we've got a, a key set of colors that I have come out with, and it hasn't been publicly released yet, that follow the 2023 trends of what the fashion industry is doing. So you have jade, you have a, the, the blues that, that are popular, the, the, the earth tones that are popular, and then you have your core essential hunting colors in there. Um, 
and it's just going to be part of the family. That way, hey, we might get a while here and decide we want to release a whole new line for, I don't know, turkey season in this pattern or whatever. Hint, hint. Um, we were thinking about that. So it's just keeping keeping every sorry bar on the stool went crazy. Um, it's just keeping everything fresh, giving us options. You know, if you might feel like this flavor today. Tomorrow I might feel like that flavor. So so. I don't want anybody to ever say, oh, they're changing their camo. They must not have liked the first one. No, that is definitely not the case. It's a progression. I just like to, I just, I'm a creative person. I'm an artist. I like to come up with new ideas Absolutely. and I like to have a whole line of options. So that's it's what an evolution, that's I would say. The past, over the past year, um, well, over the past two years, it's been heavily discussed behind closed doors with us and when we, um, well, when Supreme launched their um, spring summer collection this year, it really made us focus on where is the future of Prime on Camo? Well, we, we definitely see uh, a lot of interest. I mean, we've always said our pattern is non-aggressive, haven't we? But it's, we definitely know that our patterns lend themselves to that urban uh, streetwear uh, market. So this new OS, OS pattern is kind of, uh, yeah, our invention to kind of tailor itself more to that market, but also lends itself well to that vintage old school hunting market. Yeah. People love, and it's timeless, you know, that those kind of patterns yeah. are timeless. The old duck camos, they've been here for years and they've seen such- They're everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, we, we want, we want you know, when I design a camo pattern, I want it to be, I want it to be effective if I want it to be effective, if, if we're gonna use it for that purpose. And if I'm not going to use it for that purpose, I want it to look good. I want it to be fashionable. And so I think what we're, we're offering and what's coming out is it's just really cool, just cool looking. And it, yes, it'll work. And it's going to, it's just going to, you know, it just gives you, hey, I like that jacket. It's not that any of us really need new stuff, but hey, if it's cool and we like it, we, what do we usually do? We get it because we want it. I want you to want it. I want you to like it so much. You're like, man, I got to have that. That's really cool. So we're just, we're excited about it. We, you know, and with, like he said, with Supreme launching what they've done, a uh, big new huge one and nobody knows about it yet is um, Afflicted Clothing brand who does all of the apparel for buckle stores here in the U.S. has just finished designing and producing uh shoes in our camo they've got a shoe that looks kind of like hey dude i don't know what brand they have on it i haven't seen the the back side of it to know but it looks killer and it's got silver mist on it so be on the lookout in buckle stores for silver mist shoes they're going to be really cool and i've seen the pictures of them there's also um i know a lot of guys have messaged us, but there is now officially um blinds i believe in stores as well i know we're we're focusing on that direct consumer but there is there are products of our in our camo in in, in different stores if not yes and i'm not sure i will try to find out which stores they're in but yes they do have blinds and it's um there's two different style blinds pop-up blinds and the can and the chairs in our in prime one mp yeah. available so if you see them and, and hey Pro staff, regional pro staff directors, I think it was Jeremiah, chime in on where you saw that chair and blind because I can't remember where you told me. Yeah. And anytime y'all see stuff, a lot of times we don't know where it's going to pop up because, you know, once it leaves our hands and we, you know, the licensees can go run, up, you know, run wild everywhere and we don't know exactly where everything is going to land up. So if you all see something, let everybody know because sometimes we haven't even seen it yet. Yeah. So that's the exciting part. And Dan, tell them about, you know, we, we, we're not just in the U.S. We've got a whole lot going on in the rest of the world and a lot of growth. I mean, a lot of growth. So, Dan, kind of fill them in on what's going on in the rest of the pond. Yeah, the I mean, side of pond. It's interesting. I mean, our business is very multifaceted. So when you, you look at Prime One, you know, people often think it's just us selling camo, uh, camo clothes. Well, it's not. You know, we're, we're direct to consumer in the U.S., but also have many, many licensees in the U.S. as well. But then we also have lots of licensees across Europe um, and, and globally uh, further afield. And one of our big partners, uh, Bushbook, 
has made some huge, huge tracks over the past few years. They've seen mm-hmm. 100% growth each year for the past few years, which is incredible. And Interjection, the- their clothing is fantastic. Cole Michael and Court ordered a bunch of it. Lance ordered a bunch. Phenomenal clothing, just yeah. FYI. Yeah, and we'll put and it's, it's US people comments, but it's we get a lot of messages where people say, "Oh, can, can we buy their clothing? Can we buy their clothing?" Yes, you can. It's international shipping. They ship. I think it's probably quicker to ship from their base in New Zealand than it would be domestic US to to a to a local. Yes, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, Y'all, yeah, uh, just an interjection. The mail system is so messed up. Forgive us if you get your package late. It is jacked up. Just yeah. FYI. And we've also um, recently um, partnered early this year with um, a French company, big French company called Stagunt, that have released two uh, uniforms in which they've got a jacket and pant uh, called the Terra uh, jacket and pant. And they've also got um, Blaze Orange and uh, Woodland Mix uh, jacket. And it and looks pants. really cool. It's really cool looking. They're pig hunting. So they're wild boar hunting. They're driven hunting. So it looks looks really cool. So that's on yeah. in Europe. But um, ultimately, as a brand, you know, it's... Yeah, there's a focus on, in Europe, more on licensees. Uh, We're not direct consumer yet in Europe, but um, there's definitely that more of a focus uh, on licensees and and, and working with reputable brands and looking further afield. You know, we're not just a hunting brand. Uh, We're we're not just focused on the hunting industry. You know, like like we said before, we're, we're... we're a non-aggressive pattern. You know, we see our, our pattern across many, many different industries, many different markets, and, and we we hope that long continues. You know. Um, mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and there's lots yeah, I'm of- excited about I'm excited about the growth we're seeing globally. You know, we've got a new brand that's going to be they're going to be launching a new brand on Amazon. It's only going to be on Amazon, and it's called Hunt It. H U N T I T. And it's a big Chinese company that is going to be launching all kinds of hunting apparel and accessories. Mm-hmm. They're licensed with us. Um, but, but we've got friends all over the globe. We've got Gateway One boots that yeah. are coming out of Germany in, in our camo. I'm not sure. Can you order those online and um, no. get shipped? That's one thing I've always wondered. I'm not sure about that. No, it's only retail. Are they just to dealer shops? Yeah. Yeah, Europe works a little bit differently. They have dealers and shops. You know, they're still very brick and mortar shopping, uh, whereas we've all gone online here in the U.S. Uh, so a little bit different. They've got a little bit more offerings because we've got a lot of licensees overseas. But but exciting stuff. A lot of growth. You know, a lot of growth. We've got a a lot of hunters in this world, and that's and and not just hunters, fishermen, and you know, we've got stuff coming out and. Camping Tatanka makes a fantastic uh, backpack. Yeah. Uh, where are they at? They're in the Netherlands or? Well, Tatanka actually are a German company, but the Tatanka we're working with is uh, Tonka New Zealand, specifically in New Zealand. So, yeah. so some, some fantastic backpacks. I mean, if you need a heavy duty pack, they've got them. We've got Squatch gear. If you want to buy USA made, we've got some awesome guys uh that are in texas making some real heavy duty military style uh backpacks uh ktch gear squash gear good looking stuff so you know we've got a little bit of everything out there for everybody you know and we're, we're slowly closing in the gaps on on missing products and, and are kind of circling around trying to really key in on okay what what are we missing in key essential outdoor gear that we need, you know, to find a licensee to help us or, or make it ourselves? Yeah. My goal is to not get overly, I always want to have a good balance. And I know a lot of you ask me, well, are you going to make this? Or are you going to make this? One thing, first and foremost, we're a licensing company, just like, like my, our friends in the comp, you know, our competitive friends out there in the market you want to license other companies to come on board with you and offer your camo in their whatever widget that they make. And that's the best case scenario because it's just such a big world out there. And there's so many products that you could make. It's just a a better fit. But if I can't get like in, in the case of apparel where it's hard to get any 
presence in a store in the U.S., I will make it if I have to. Now, I will be the first to tell you that you would be crazy if you didn't go try Bushbuck or go try Hardcore. Hardcore is our U.S. partner in the apparel as well. Or go try Extremis and Casking. They're offering some fantastic products. We're an integral part of of what they're doing. We stay in contact constantly. So, so don't feel like you're you're oh we're we're being uh, not being faithful to the brand if we go buy this jacket from Extremis or or Bushbuck. No, you are. We're all partnered together. Um, and what I can't offer you personally online, they're gonna I'm gonna try to find somebody that can offer it to you. So, so just keep keep posted on you know keep an eye on what we're doing please anytime we share we share something on social media feel free we love it when y'all share our post because it helps spread the word Absolutely. you know one thing we want to do is we really want to grow the awareness of the brand to people outside of our core group we've got a great core group of people that follow with us and that are partnered with us but we don't know everybody and they don't know everybody. So the more we can spread the word, the, the larger we can grow, because that's the hardest thing is growth on social media is a big thing right now. And the, you know, the ads are very tricky. You know, we don't run a lot of ads because they, you know, social media is not very friendly to the outdoor environment. They like to block us. Yeah. Um, so help us by sharing posts and stuff like that and um, spread the word. Absolutely. It's, um, and yeah, and just going back to what we were saying, we're there to represent the everyday blue collar hunter, fisherman, outdoorsman. You know, we're not there to sell you gear that is athletic cut and it's this, this and that and, and for thousands of dollars. We're not. We're there to represent people who want good gear that lasts them many, many seasons and it's multi-use. You know, we're not going to say that this garment is only used for whitetail hunting. It's only used for this. No, you can wear our products wherever you want. No, we want it to be multifunctional, Absolutely. multifunctional and affordable. Absolutely. And yeah, it's, I like agree. Saying, you know, it's, it's difficult being a brand in which we are a license, you know, we, we're a licensing company as well as having our own products, but we never want to step on the toes of our, you know, we're, we'll be first to push our, uh, licensees products absolutely right and it's been a big stickler for us over the past few years in which a big part of our business is when customers come and say well, where where are your products you know you have all these licenses where are they so we've i've really focused on on um working on our website to deliver the partner products page and there will be your central hub to be able to come in and find our key partners well all of our partners and the products they have and we'll be constantly updating that page in which you can go on and find an extensive library of many, many different products, whether it's jackets, whether it's bibs, whether it's boots, whether it's tents, whether it's bivvies, whether it's um, ramblers. If they if our licensees do it in our camo, it will be on that page and yeah. find something on, on, on online and we're not aware of it because it's brand new we're, and and we've not seen that it's been launched yet by a certain brand, we will get that on the site. But ultimately, our product offering on our shop is, is there not to conflict with any licensees products. We're there as a, a staple. We go back to um, what we're developing is called the core line, the core collection. So you'll start to see over the next year, two, three years, where we're going to actually focus on um, building the brand core in which it's a it's a brand within a brand. So core will be our, our apparel uh, brand, which focuses on premium essential core line products, basically to outfit the everyday hunter. And that'll just be our offering there. That will be there online for you to go in and buy. But ultimately, there will be there to to push and push our licensees products. Ultimately, we're there to champion inclusivity in, in our industry. And that's going to be our mission, our ethos moving forward, that we're there to represent the everyday hunter, everyday fisherman, everyday outdoorsman, that ultimately we want to help you explore out there. And if that is giving you better products um, at an affordable rate, which are comfy and isn't trying to um, conform you to um, the so-called ideal, which is the athlete, you know, then the better, really, in my opinion. What yeah. would you say, Stace? I agree. I agree. 
we want everybody to enjoy the process. You know, Absolutely. it's it's you know half the half of the the enjoyment. Uh, it's it's not the finished task. It's getting out there and doing it is the process. And so, you know, you might as well be comfortable when you're doing it, and no matter what you're doing, you know, yeah. whether you're walking around outside, just hiking in the woods, camping, fishing, hunting, whatever you, you know, whatever you like to do, kayaking. Uh, we want to find a place to help you do that absolutely and i think it goes it rounds upon on our core values and this is something that we've been working on over the past few months to really you know kind of set these pillars of actually what do we believe in and i just kind of want to share that with with um, the audience and our, and our followers a big one you said was a cultivate a zest for life and i really yeah. that really hit home to me you know the idea that life is really short and that we want to enjoy every day that we're blessed with. Yeah, it's you know that year for you, hasn't it? Yeah, uh, you know we've had a rough year. I lost, I lost uh, my husband Lance. Lost both of his parents within six months of each other, and it, and they were in their seventies, young. And it it just goes to show you, life is short. You don't know what's coming tomorrow, and so get out there today and do it. If you want to do it, do it. You know, I hear so many people say, oh, well, I'm going to wait till I retire. I'm going to wait till I do this. Don't wait. Just go do it because mm-hmm. you might not have tomorrow to do it. You know, God blesses us with each day as it comes by. You better take advantage of that day when you have it. So don't miss out. Get out there. Try something new. Go enjoy life with your family and your friends and try, not some, you know, just try stuff. Yeah, have a good time at it. Absolutely. And, and then another core value being challenging the status quo. You know, we're here to ultimately focus on what we believe is a customer that's losing out, that is the everyday folk. You know, there's through this rise of athlete culture. We want to be there to be actually offer products that are there, that are multi-purpose, that are not necessarily, like we said, you know, athletic cut, but rather people who value comfort, multi-use and obviously at an affordable cost. Yeah, outdoors, you know, getting outdoors is for everybody. It doesn't matter what you are, who you are, where you are. It's it's for everybody yeah. to enjoy. So we we want to fit that mold that everybody can come to us, find something and get out there and enjoy it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And another one being yeah, advocating inclusion and diversity. The idea that for too long now I think as a hunter, we we want to we want to um, well as a brand we want to produce clothing that doesn't conform to one ideal, but it is unisex that offers plus sizes that you know ultimately it's not it, limiting. It's not limiting. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, yeah. And absolutely. That's, that's our mission, and that's what we're gonna that will ultimately construct everything that we're gonna do, and um, we really look forward to it, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. It's a joy. Well, we'll and it should be. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll catch you probably in another mini podcast in maybe in a in a few months' time when we've got some big news. Hopefully in the spring. Yep. That sounds good. <laughs> awesome. Y'all be safe out there. You take care. All right. God bless. Bye.